Hello everybody, welcome to my video. I am going to be creating a layout for my creative scrapbook. I am a guest designer again, which I am super excited about because this month's kit features the lavender collection from Prima. I'll have all of these supplies listed down below and be sure to check out my website where you can find more information on where to get these kits and just, a, you know, supplies and uh, more photos. Uh, so I am taking some of the pattern paper. I add a coat of clear gesso, then I add some white gesso just where I know I'm going to have my photo and uh, all of my other embellishments. So I'm taking uh, some lace that I have and I add a little bit of gesso to it and then I'll add it to my layout. And you can use cheesecloth or any other type of fabric you have on hand. This just gives the layout a little bit more texture and interest. So I took some of the pattern paper and I ripped it uh, just to kind of give a little bit more interest. Um, I didn't want it to be, you know, um, super straight lines. I wanted a little bit of um, texture to them. So I added a little, added a little bit of clear gesso to those pattern papers and then I'm going to go back in and add the lace and just to kind of see where I want those um, papers to um, be exactly and now I'm taking my photo which is a photo of myself it's just a random selfie that I took I was in the craft room and um, yeah, just I had put it up on Instagram and I needed a photo to use for this layout, so I thought it was cute. I really need to get uh, my kids to take more photos for me so that I um, have some on hand. I tend to use a lot of the same pictures uh, for a couple reasons because I like this, you know, specific pictures a lot, and also because my kids don't like take pictures anymore. I have to bribe them with. Um, candy or something extra time on electronics or something uh, just so that I can get a little photo of them. So I used the stencil from Hampton Art which comes in the kit and it comes in the stamps and then it, I'm sorry it has a stamp set and the stencil and then um, I used some light paste to add a little bit of texture. And then I sprayed the layout with a little bit of water and then now I'm adding some Distress Spray in Milled Lavender, I believe. And this darker color is Dusty Concord. I thought they were perfect for this layout. my photo to some of the pattern paper cut it down and then I added some foam to the back of the photo just to pop, um, pop it up a little bit and then now I'm just going to uh, add some of the ephemera and I cut out some of the butterflies from the paper and I'm just going to uh, continue to add some of these embellishments and then I will be back shortly I am now doing my favorite thing which is adding splatters 
to my layout and this is my favorite uh, product to use to add white splatters which is the distress spray stain in picket fence I think it just ties everything together for this layout and these are those butterflies that I cut out from the paper collection and uh, now I'm just adding some of them you know randomly here and there and then I add some of the flowers to my layout I really love how this layout turned out. My favorite color is purple, so to add a photo of myself was perfect for uh, this layout. I cut out one of the sentiments from uh, the 4x6 note cards that come in the kit, and it says, live for the moments you cannot or you can't put into words. And that is going to complete the layout for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's another look at the layout. Be sure to check out my website and head on over to my creative scrapbook if you want to pick up your kit. Here's a couple more videos you might enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, share this video on social media, and leave me a comment down below. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.